May the Lord bless and keep you. Some people may not believe in witches, but as I am finding out, there are so many witches, so many. I know that in some cases, when you find out that a person is a witch, the first thing that pops into your mind, hey, let me leave this person alone and stay far away from this person. And I can understand that, but what you need to do is pray for that person. We have to understand that, yes, witches may be wicked or whatever else, but hey, they are human as well. They are just misguided. So we need to continue to pray for these misguided, wicked witches out there. We have to. Listen, when a person goes to hell, I don't care how wicked a person is, when a person goes to hell, there is no coming out. Like when I am not speaking about a vision or a dream or anything like that, when a person dies and goes to hell, that is it. Even if a person is very harsh, to keep a person in hell, that is something that I could not do or can do. Maybe, yes, they need to be punished, yes, but to keep them in hell, man. So we need to pray for these people. They are human. They are deceived by Satan. How many of us have been deceived by Satan? Many of us. So why not pray for these people, for these witches? No matter if they have tried to harm you, no matter if they have harmed you, we need to pray for these people. For instance, to make a long story short, I found out that this woman is a witch and I have known her for three to four years, I believe. And 95% of the time, she was really, really harsh to me very harsh but something in me I could not give up on her like I had this I have no idea what to call it but this strong turning <laughs> this strong urge I guess you can say to keep praying for her even when people may say that hey that girl is not going to change. I still pray for her. This one time, like, I was praying for her really, really hard. And after, I forget, maybe a month or so, I forget, she gave me a text and told me, Kevin, thank you for your prayers. I did not talk to this woman for about one or two months. How did she know that I was praying for her? Obviously, my prayers had a great effect on her at that time and still now. So for a woman to always say mean things to me, for her to say that tiny nice thing to me that is huge <laughs> because this woman would even make up false things. How can I say this? She wanted to say mean things to me so badly that she would make up lies and call me 
or tell me the wrong that I am doing. I am serious. <laughs> but I had this, this strong urge to never give up on her. And what you need to do as well is to not give up on those witches as well. We can't. They are just hurt humans. Hurt, wicked, confused, misguided witches, bad people that need help. We need to be there for them. I am not saying that you have to invite them over your home. I am not saying to take them out to eat. I am not saying you have to watch TV with them. I am not saying that. What I am saying is to be there for them. And we should always be following God's rules and regulations. So even if they do try to attack us, we have our angels and God to help us. So you have nothing to worry about. I've been threatened quite a bit and I am still alive now. Now, <laughs> I was having some weird supernatural experiences, but hey, I am still alive now. And I have been praying for this woman for three to four years. Even when she told me bad things are going to happen to you, Kevin, on this day, bad things are going to happen to you. No, it's not. <laughs> and it did not. I am still alive now, as you can see. We need to pray for witches. And you may know a witch right now. Pray for that woman or that man. Do it. Because, think about it, man. How can you... Look. A person burning forever. I would not be able to stand being on fire for two seconds, not even a second, not even 0.5 seconds. <laughs> but a person being on fire forever and you won't pray for that person because that person is trying to harm you. So, hey, let that person go to hell. How mean is that? It doesn't matter what a witch is trying to do to me, whatever. I am going to forgive that person and pray for that person so that God can save them. To push a person to the side and say whatever, let Satan have them, that is the wrong thinking. That is so bad. We need compassion for people, even for our enemies. Even when they are misguided, wicked, <laughs> deceived, or whatever else. We need to be there for them. Pray for them. Continue to pray for them. Even if they call you and call you so many vile names which that woman would do so many times. Crazy. But I still, I want the best for that woman. I don't want that woman to go to hell. I still have love for that woman as well. No matter what she does to me, even if she casts 20,000 spells on me, I am still, I am still going to love that woman. We have to love everyone. So you can't choose and pick who you want to love. Well, this person is nice to me, so let me love her. Or this guy is nice to me, let me love him. No, we have to love everyone, no matter what. If someone is doing evil to us, hey, we need to show them much more love. I pray that this makes sense. Pray for those witches. 
Don't stop. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.